Hey guys, Cubehamster here with a new video. I have uh, something very interesting in mind today. I want to talk about something that which I used in the 14th floor elevator and I want to show you a revolutionary new device called the Red Coder. Now, starting off, before we go there, uh, I want to talk a bit about signal length. Now, I think most of you guys know Redstone only travels 15 blocks. So that's 15 blocks away. I can barely activate that one light. If I put it on the third one, it's going to activate the first three, etc. And you can actually see how it sort of stops. The redstone dims and then it stops. Um, so now all except for the last one. And you can actually use that to send inform information over a wire, over a single wire. Um, so what I have here is got 13 repeaters next to each other with levers. If I activate one lever, uh, what's going to happen is the redstone is going to travel 15 blocks, the max, and then activate the first repeater here. 15 blocks again, first repeater here, around the corner, around the corner, all the way back over here in a U-turn. Um, that's cool. Um, if I activate the third repeater, I'm actually going to activate the first three repeaters on this one because the, the, the redstone travels 15 blocks all the way over here. I'm going to activate the first three here, around the corner, etc. Now, um, you might be wondering, so now I'm activating the seventh. Um, that's cool and all, Cube Hamster, but how can we use this? Like, what's the point of this? Because I'm act actually only activating one lever and I'm getting seven outputs. How, can, how the hell can you use that? Uh, well, that's a good question, uh, which brings me to uh, this device here called the Red Coder I came up with. Um, Basically, what it does, it, it decodes the redstone wire, the signal length, and turns it into a single output. And it's extremely compact. It's four by three, stackable, one wide. Um, so let me show you in action. So the second lever activates the second light, fourth one, the fourth light, I don't know, sixth one, sixth, first one, the first. Uh, it's quite fast. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so I'm sending... I've got all these levers hooked up to a single wire and I'm easily, without any issue, getting a, a nice little output. Um, this is what it looks like from the side. So we've got a torch underneath, redstone wire, redstone wire here, a repeater uh, going into a solid block. And I mean, these redstone lamps are here, but you can just tap the, um, yeah, just can place, place a repeater there and get the, uh, the signal. Now let's just get into what's going on. Um, so if I activate this, you have to count with me. The redstone only travels 15 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so that, that's what we expected. Traveled 15 blocks. Now, um, as you can see, there's a block here. No blocks there. The reason why there's no blocks here is because if I go down, um, instead of traveling all the way over here, it actually stopped a bit earlier. Um, that's just because um, it made a turn. It add, I have an extra block there, that which it have, has to travel to. And if we go to the other side, um, on the other side of the redstone, we got torches. So by activating this lever, I basically deactivated these um, these torches, retracting the blocks, which do not allow the signal to travel into the redstone lamps. So very compact uh, design there. Now I have a more elaborate setup here. Um, with buttons, so I'm actually traveling it in a large U-turn. Same device here, uh, under a 90 degree angle, so no orient orientational glitches or anything. And, and I actually mirrored it, so the, the <laughs> what I mean is this lamp will activate that one, this lamp will activate that one, and the, the cool part is you think, oh man, you got so many repeaters, there's tons of delay. Well, um, you only get one tick delay per sort of 15 blocks so it's not any slower than than having um you know them in a line uh, <laughs> so if i had one repeater there and one repeater there the, the signal would still take like six ticks to get there um but yeah it's very compact uh you can also obviously again use a lever and we'll just activate it um yeah <laughs> The red coder. Anyways, guys, um, I will leave the world file and schematic in the description of the video so you can check that out. This is, yeah, basically what it is. Um, splitting up the signal here and it's going into the tileable. So this is basically what you get up to and it's going into the tileable red coder. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this. I think this is going to be 
yeah, I think this can be very useful for puzzles, big builds, uh, if you have lots of buttons on, I don't know, minecart stations, etc. Uh, but yeah, decoding signal length has never been uh, this easy. So uh, guys, like always, um, be sure to like this video if you uh, enjoyed it and uh, hope you guys learned something. Um, if you're new to my channel, feel free to check out my other videos and subscribe. And yeah, hope you guys like it. I'll see you all later. Bye bye.